Welcome to a Soldier's Note channel. Before continuing to watch this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Activate notifications. Like and share with your friends. Thank you. Japan to field new ASM-3A long-range supersonic anti-ship missile. On December 25, 2020, Japan's Ministry of Defense MOD, announced that it would include the procurement cost of the new ASM-3A supersonic anti-ship missile in its defense budget request for the fiscal year 2021. For the record, Japan started full-scale development of a missile called XASM-3 in FY2010 that can be operated by the Japan Air Self-Defense Force F-2 fighter jets. The XASM-3 was an air-launched anti-ship missile ASM, that cruised at supersonic speeds above Mach 3 thanks to the combination of a solid rocket booster and ramjet engine. It had a range of about 200 kilometers 108 nautical miles. In 2017, a live fire test was conducted using a decommissioned JMSDF vessel. The development was completed in 2018 and procurement would begin in the fiscal year 2019 as ASM-3. However, in order to respond to the increasing performance of air defense systems fitted aboard Chinese Navy surface vessels, the actual procurement of the ASM-3 was postponed. It was decided to develop the ASM stands for modified. This version is based on the ASM-3 and has an even longer range. The Japanese MOD made awarded in 2020 an 8.9 billion yen $85 million contract to local defense company Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for the development of ASM-3. The development of the ASM-3 will be carried out from FY2020 to FY2025. In order to reduce costs and shorten the development period, the size of the main body will remain unchanged from the ASM-3, and the range will be extended by reducing the overall weight of the missile. The ASM-3A, which mass production has just been announced, is said to be a missile that reflects the results of the development process of the ASM-3, but its details are unknown. However, the development of the ASM-3 has just started this year, and therefore it is thought that this missile may actually have a slightly extended range compared to the ASM-3. It is important to note that the development of the ASM-3 will continue even after the ASM-3A goes into mass production, thus the ASM-3A is considered to be a stopgap solution to counter China's naval threats. The main reason why the JSDF deploys multiple types of anti-ship missiles is to ensure that the combination of the characteristics of each missile can break through enemy air defense systems. For example, the JSM has the advantage of being hard to detect by enemy radar through sea skimming, but its range is not very long, between 100 and 300 nautical miles depending on mission profile. The LRASM on the other hand offers a much longer range, about 432 nautical miles, but its flight speed is still subsonic. The ASM-3A will break through the enemy's air defense system at the supersonic speed of about Mach 3, but its range will likely be less compared to LRASM. However, if two or three of these new generation anti-ship missiles are operated in combination, the targeted adversary will have to take into account each missile's characteristics, which will place a heavy load on its air defense systems. In addition to these new air-launched ASM for the JASDF, the ground forces JGSDF, are also developing a new, extended-range missile reportedly with a range of 2,000 km or 1,080 nautical miles. Japan's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency ATLA is also developing a hypersonic anti-ship missile and a hypervelocity gliding projectile HVGP, which will be able to target high-value naval targets. If a hypersonic guided missile, which flies at high altitude at high speed, is added to the mix of anti-ship missiles, the probability of the missiles hitting an enemy ship becomes extremely high. It can be said that the JSDF is steadily advancing its countermeasures with the future development of the Chinese Navy in mind. Responding to questions from Defense News, a spokeswoman from the Japanese Ministry of Defense's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency, or ATLA, also confirmed that it is planning to test fire a XASM-3 missile from a Mitsubishi F-2 fighter jet at a missile range in the Gulf of Wakasa, off western Japan. 
The Atlas spokeswoman was unable to provide a more specific date other than that it will be sometime in fiscal 2017 fiscal, which in Japan runs from April 1st of this year to March 31st, 2018, saying that it would depend on the progress of the missile's development program as well as weather and sea conditions. However, ATLA tender documents indicate that it is seeking flight test control and telemetry relay equipment specifically for the monitoring and recording of flight test data for the XASM-3 against an offshore target, to be delivered in late April 2017, which suggests that any live firing will occur only in late May or early June at the earliest. The recent reports of a possible test firing were sparked by images of an F-2 of the Japan Air Self-Defense Forces Air Development and Test Wing from Gifu Air Base in western Japan returning from a sortie in late February without the test missile it was carrying. The same aircraft had been photographed earlier in the day carrying the missile, which given no launch occurred would indicate that a store's separation test had been carried out as a precursor to a live firing. Japan has carried out a number of modifications to the decommissioned destroyer Shirane in preparation for being the XASM-3's first target. The XASM-3 is a ramjet-powered anti-ship missile being developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries with a reported maximum speed in excess of Mach 3 and a range of between 94 and 125 miles. The missile measures 17 feet long, and target guidance in the terminal stage will be by active radar homing or passive radar guidance Japan ready to mass produce new supersonic anti-ship missile Japan's first supersonic air-launched anti-ship missile is slated to enter service in 2019. Japan's Ministry of Defense MOD, completed the development of its first domestically designed supersonic anti-ship missile, designated XASM-3, with mass production of the new weapon system slated to begin in the fiscal year 2019, according to local media reports. The XASM-3 has been specifically designed to be carried by the Japan Air Self-Defense Forces JASDF F-2 multirole fighter jets, a Mitsubishi license produced variant of Lockheed Martin's F-16. The service currently operates around 90 Mitsubishi F-2 multirole fighter aircraft, which first entered service in 2007. Each aircraft will be capable of carrying up to two XASM-3 missiles, I noted in July 2017. The new missile will replace the older domestically produced Type 80 and Type 93 air-to-ship missiles capable of reaching near supersonic speed. Powered by a ramjet engine, the missile can reportedly reach top speeds of up to Mach 3 and has an operational range of 80 nautical miles 150 kilometers. In August 2017, Japan's Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency ATLA, released for the first time footage showing the test firing of a XASM-3 missile. It is unclear, however, whether the missile was targeting a decommissioned Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force JMSDF destroyer, as was originally announced in 2016. Development of the missile began in 2003. A first missile jettison test, used to validate the aerodynamic separation models of the missile, was conducted in March 2017, followed by user trials. The introduction of the new missile is aimed at keeping the Chinese Navy, which has been taking high-handed action in the East China Sea and other places, in check, the Yomiuri Shimbun newspaper reported in 2017. As I noted last year, Japan has been trying to boost its anti-surface warfare capabilities by fielding new air and ground-launched anti-ship missile missiles. Japan is in the process of developing a new land-based anti-ship missile to reinforce the defenses of remote Japanese-controlled islets in the East China Sea. The new missile will have an approximate range of 300 kilometers use solid fuel, and is expected to be deployed by 2023. The new missile will supplement the Type 12 subsonic anti-ship missile, an upgraded variant of the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Type 88 surface-to-ship missile with a reported range of 200 kilometers, 124 miles, currently in service with the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force GSDF. Japan is also slated to arm its new F-35A stealth fighter jets with the next generation, long-range, precision-guided joint strike missile JSM, originally developed as an anti-ship missile. The new missile, with an estimated range of around 500 kilometers, 310 miles, will become operational in 2025. Japan's first line of defense against North Korean ballistic missiles is its six Aegis-equipped fleets of guided missile destroyers, I explained in December 2017. According to Japan's defense minister, the new missiles would specifically be purchased to defend these ships.
Japanese MOD moves closer to operationalization of ASM-3 anti-ship missile. A concept of use infographic published by MOD provides a look at how the Japan Air Self-Defense Forces JASDF, may employ the weapon in a contingency. The missile can take either a direct course of travel when launched low near the edge of the targeted vessel's radar range, or instead, it may take a pop-up profile, climbing high from a low angle of launch or instead of staying at an already high altitude from an elevated attack approach. Survivability of the firing F-2 is of chief concern in either attack scenario. For the infographic, a direct and low attack allows the F-2 to fly under the radar, while the pop-up profile may put the F-2 within the radar detection range, but beyond the scope of the targeted ship SAMs. A recent report in the Mainichi Shimbun provides further detail on the history of the weapons development and ATLA's plans for further utilizing the guidance and propulsion technology of the ASM-3. The weapons development period ran from 2003 to 2017, during which a total of 15 test launches proved the design's viability. Research and development costs totaled 39 billion yen, approximately $367 million. MOD is also planning on employing the ramjet propulsion system and inertial composite guidance technology of the ASM-3 to design a land-based, truck-mounted variant, as well as a ship-based version with a longer-range ED. Note, the XSSM which Navy recognition covered previously. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments. See you in the next video.